I thought people might want to have a quick guide just to find all of the Numenorian or Torvin uh, artifacts. Um, so I'm pulling out the footage from my full walkthrough uh, into a shorter episode. Um, hope you enjoy. So the first one we're grabbing here, and you can see it's that uh, blue icon on the ground that I hadn't picked up yet. Um, it's this one, Cyclone. And if you click in, you can see a map of where it should be located. So you can see um, it's pretty much where I'm standing now, uh, where the enlarged picture is, is pointing to. Numenorians possessed wisdom far superior to any we have today. Shame that in the end it wasn't enough to save them. But it does fascinate me how they created a device to aid in climbing, and later upgraded it to knock loads of people down. If it were me, I'd have done it the other way round. Now that we have the Numenorian artifact, we'll go back up to Torvin and get the upgrade. And conveniently, there is a fast travel point near uh, to Torvin. Stormed up to the keep and kicked down the door, killed twenty Yorks and wounded six more, and her name was Narlan Axe Harlar. Ah, what did you find? That ought to fix you, right? Now, Torvin's Perch is actually really handy as a lookout spot um, for you to find the rest of the Numenorean artifacts. All you really have to do is look for objects that resemble the ones in the pictures. So you can see there's a bridge across uh, two of the towers, so we'll look for a spot that looks just like that and then head over. Oh, look at that. It's right over there. It's an age-old quandary in battle. How'd you close the distance to your enemy? Well, the Numenorians, true to form, solved this problem with a novel approach. Instead of making your way to your opponent, bring him to you, and then smack him. Goes without saying. These were either brilliant or diabolical. And actually, it needn't be one or the other. See what you have. Outdone myself this time, if I'm honest. Next up, catapult. You 
should recognize that from the beginning of the stage. Right down there. The new Minorian set their minds to making a man fly. But when they figured out a device that could do it, they decided they weren't impressed enough with themselves, so they set about improving on it. How could a people who soar like birds fall so far that there's hardly any trace of them left? I can't wait to see what the dwarf does with this. Or maybe I can. Don't do it, Torvan lad. Tempting as it is, don't drop your chamber bucket on the ox down there. You'll just bring him up here. Ah! What did you find? Don't let that fall into the wrong hands! Next up is Numenorian Fire, and this one's a little bit tricky to find. Because it is hidden underneath that ledge. So you have to find a place that has an overhang and a tower underneath it with a ledge. which actually happens to be down there. The soldiers of this ancient empire wielded the mightiest blades, the most powerful bows. But, as in most things, they weren't satisfied there. They devised clever ways to burn their enemies, to terrify and sow chaos among them. Any craftsman pours his strength and wit into his creations. To that, the Numenorians added madness. Oh, and fire. I can't imagine what function this device could possibly have, but I... Suppose that's part of the fun. Sometimes I think I should kill the fellow who suggested I come out to the desert. But since it was me, probably not a great idea. Oh, found something, have you? That's sure to get you in and out of trouble.
Next up, we will grab Mighty Shield. This one is also a little bit tricky to find. The Numenorean's new defense meant more than cowering behind some bulwark. While the enemy's trying to wear your strength down, you've got to build it up. No idea how this works. It's to do with the uh, storing and unleashing energy or something. Just mind you stay on the right side of it. This technology is fascinating. If I knew what it did, I'm sure I'd be horrified. Oh, what have you got for me? Start to fix you, right? Going to get some more firewood soon. One of these nights, those mercenaries are going to catch me chopping down their tree. Next up, Blazing Shield, and this one is way out. Have you seen some place that looks like that yet? Nope, didn't think so. Start out by heading towards the keep. And that down there is what we're looking for. So we just came from Torvin, up past the keep, way out here to the uh, northeast. When the Numenorean's doom finally came, their fires were soon extinguished. Something to do with the flood, I believe. Well, I don't see any water out here. So let's see how hot we can make this thing burn. The idea with this is it incinerates your enemies at the same time you're knocking them back. My kind of idea. Reckon I should take this to Torben and put my faith in him. After all, this work lets me leap off cliffs. Hmm. When you say that out loud. Boom 
Marco, the great white Graug. You were good sport, lads, but you're no but weak mice compared to what old Torvald's hunting out here. Oh! All right, give it over! That'll tilt the odds in your favor. Finish off the last of the shield abilities next with Fatal Counter, which is over by the keep. Could have done with fewer short jokes, though. Countering enemies is great. What's even better is stopping them dead. And I do mean dead. The new Minorians knew that by using your opponent's momentum against him, you turn his opening strike into your killing blow. This thing looks like it could be a real lifesaver. Or life taker. I honestly have no idea. You don't love these worms. Ah! Find something? See what mischief you can make with that. Next up, Chain Kills. We are looking for an arena. And the arena happens to be way out here. Just as important as strength are stealth and speed. If you're invisible, there's no defense. If you're silent, there's no call for help. Reckon no one mastered this better than the Numenorians. No one's seen or heard them in ages. Torben should be able to use this to make my gear more deadly. Whether to me or the orcs, remains to be seen. Sometimes I think I should kill the fellow who suggested I come out to the desert. But since it was me, probably not a great idea. Oh! All right, give it over! That'll be a laugh, I'm sure! And the final Numenorian artifact is Worm Rot Oils.
Now, this one looks like the mercenary camp, but it's actually not. I should get rid of those potatoes. They're hard as rocks. Instead, it is down there. Handle this bit of kit carefully. Enemies who stood against Numenorean weapons didn't stand for long. And the ones who survived the first cut quickly came to wish they hadn't. Poison tends to bring that out in people. That and their guts as they puke themselves to death. Look! I suppose I should get this back to Torvald. See what new torments he can inflict on me with it. If Sarkar ever finds me up here, he'll pitch me over the side. Aha! Let's see what you have. Outdone myself this time, if I'm honest. all of them.